to everyone in this video we will go for rest of the part of sap gui or rest of the elements of sap gui now we will go for fifth part of sap gui or fifth element of sap gui that is application toolbar application toolbar so what is application toolbar application toolbar is located below the title bar yes application toolbar is below the title bar yes this statement is right now important point about application toolbar it has the button it contains button that duplicate functions from the menu bar but provide quick access to the most commonly used functions important point just see what application toolbar is saying they are duplicate functions from the menu bar just see if i will go for menu bar in the menu we have user menu sap menu just see this application toolbar do we have a option user menu do you have a option sap menu so you have both the ways you can either go by this way or you can directly go by this way but what is the benefit of putting the button here it is a quick access quick access there you have to do two things you have to go for the menu then you have to click on to that specific menu item here you have a quick access so application toolbar is nothing it is just just we have few functions from the menu bar are coming into this application toolbar not every function whatever the frequently or whatever the most important functions are there sap gave those functions into application toolbar also so that you can go for quicker access of that function so what is application toolbar it has duplicate functions from the menu bar yes same thing you can do through menu bar also but there you have to search in on those menu bar there you can go for quicker access quicker access now buttons in the application toolbar changes from application to application yes just see suppose in this screen we have the application toolbar user menu sap menu these all are there if i will go to a bab dictionary you can see where is the application toolbar check button activate button where use list so it always changes from application to application screen to screen now we will move on to sixth part of or sixth element of sap gui that is screen area this is your screen area this is your screen area below the application toolbar we have the screen area screen area so what screen area is where you have the actual actual design of the screen so what is your a screen area where the actual application is displayed yes so this is your actual application this is your actual application if i will go this is your actual application we have favorites we have user menu so this is your actual application just see if i will go here you will understand more menu bar standard toolbar command bar title bar application toolbar so this is your actual this is your actual thing which you will do through sc11 so this is called as screen area screen area and here you will find lots of things suppose we have radio buttons we have buttons we have input fields we have these labels so screen area always always has the layout elements like button input fields radio button check boxes etc so what is screen area this is the actual area where your application is displaying this is the actual area actual area this is the actual area 
once the practical will start you will see we will go for major things here itself this is your actual area now here we have the various layouts elements like radio buttons text field input fields button everything is the part of screen area now we will go for last part last part of this elements of sap gy and that is your status bar status bar now what is status bar it is always always at the last of the sap screen this is the last of sap screen this suppose i'll go for simple understanding i am putting something wrong here suppose i am putting something wrong here if i will put something wrong here and i am pressing enter have you seen i am getting a message i am getting a status transaction sm41 does not exist so this message is appearing into which part of gui status this is your status bar status bar so what is status bar status bar is displaying the important messages regarding suppose there is a error there is a success there is a warning suppose there is some completion of the transaction so every message will display where in the status bar status bar now along with this it has one most important use it will give you session information also how you can go for session information just see this is our sap easy access screen this is your status bar just click here you can understand it is clearly saying system number which which client number you are using 800 just see when i logged in into the sap system what is the client number 800 so there is no need to check again from here itself you can check what is the client number 800 what is my user id i logged in which particular user id s3 aug 13 so every information you can check from status bar what is the session information just see another thing you will understand fully i open this abap dictionary through sc11 if i will click here you can see the simple simple information client 800 this is my user id which transaction code i am working sc11 so with the help of status bar you can get that information also so what is status bar status bar is giving us the session information also such as system client user program transaction etc so this is all are this all are the various parts of sap gui or these all are the elements of sap gui if i will go for the summary what we covered in this particular video we covered we have total seven elements of sap gui or parts of sap gui first one is your menu bar menu bar is always always at the top of every screen menu bar changes from screen to screen but system and help are the two menus which are always always available in every screen after that we cover the topic we cover the second part that is standard toolbar which is also called as function keys and it is below the menu bar then we covered command bar with the help of command bar you can put the transaction codes you can open or close the command bar using this button then we came on to title bar yes title bar is in between standard toolbar and application toolbar yes title always changes from application to application it is always always dynamic in nature then we covered we have the next part is application toolbar application toolbar is nothing just we have the duplicate function it is just duplicate functions of the menu bar but we have a quick access 
but we have a quick access for the functions. And yes, it also changes from application to application. Then we cover screen area. This is your screen area where your actual work is, where your actual screen area is. It consists of various layout elements like radio buttons, text boxes, push buttons, where you will do all these things. And the last part is status bar, status bar. So status bar is always, always at the last. If you if the status bar is displaying the various status message, suppose error message, success message, warning message. If something completed successfully, it will give that success message. And along with that, it will give you the session information, particular session information. Session information means which client, which system, which transaction, which program you are working at in that particular session. So this is all about the elements of SAP GUI or parts of SAP GUI. Never confuse this topic with the types of SAP GUI because whenever we ask in the interview, people will tell this that these are the types of SAP GUI. So we have two different topics. Types of SAP GUI is SAP GUI for Windows, SAP GUI for Java, SAP GUI for HTML. What are the parts of SAP GUI or what are the elements of SAP GUI? These all are the elements or parts of SAP GUI. So that's it in this video. Thank you.